You have drawn the attention of hostiles. Hive, can you run a scan to see if this is the one we're looking for? The drives are completely scrambled. This cannot be the one. Uh, best keep looking then. is beyond retrievable. Yeah, this thing's trashed.
has been wiped. Yeah, by the Archive Admin. When was that? The timestamp is unreadable. Let's see what the other servers have in store. some curious file details on a previous transfer to a new location. I'll keep looking for more servers. There are no more server locations, at least none highlighted by the trader. Huh. Wasn't there anything you could glean from those other drives? There were some remaining files of historical interest dating to the time of the Okar incursion of Palemon. I came across numerous entries authored by the Archive Admin, some written decades apart. Could it be the same person? The author states that they arrived in Palemon as a mere miner, but wishes they had stayed on Eculus base, where they felt more at home. I do have a record of a mining station in the vicinity of Eculus. Here are its coordinates. Well, it's a long shot, but maybe that's where they transferred the databank. Let's check it out. The station appears to be abandoned. All the better, I suppose. right and the data he's looking for still exists this place is our last chance of finding it all right hive hold tight i'm heading in who are you how did you find this place don't move i've got my crosshairs trained right on you why does everyone have to be so jumpy nowadays come now relax there's enough calamity at play as it is are you referring to the disintegration of the bloodstar gang or the general state of the dmz the former obviously damned bolton it was bad for a while already, but it got worse once he took over. Bolton? People called him Gas Mask. Not that anyone would call him that to his face, of course. He was disfigured, bitter. Oh, yeah. Gas Mask. Doesn't quite earn my sympathy. What would you know about any of this? 
You've encountered him? I don't want to get into it. I'm just looking for a particular data bank. I'm working on the assumption that someone brought it here ages ago. Whoever archive admin was. Yes, that was me. I suppose GNB hired you in order to ascertain the remaining resource value of the region. We mined on Polemon during the war. We knew the risks, but then GNB failed to extract us from the encroaching battlefront. When the dust settled, the only ones left were the few of us who hid deep in the shafts. The databank you're looking for is more than simply log records and resource locations. For GNB, it's a historical stain on their reputation that needs to be erased unless they're ever taken to account. For us, it's where we came from. It's who we are. Or what's left of you. Bloodstar's finished. You seem pleased enough about it. You know, we weren't always on the wrong side of affairs. I was the gang historian, but my job was more than keeping files. It was onboarding new recruits to our code, was keeping the continuity. Now, there are none left to carry the flame. Some are joining new gangs and leaving their old allegiances behind. Some are trying to flee the DMZ altogether. All that remains are the stories. Take the data bank. I'm not equipped to resist you in any case. But keep in mind, the drives are antiquated and cumbersome, and compatible with newer technology. The whole data bank needs to be physically removed from the back of the station. I only want to live out the rest of my time here in peace. That is quite a heavy tale. Thanks for sharing it. Just get out of here. I've done all I can. My life's work is over. Hey, uh, take care out there. Whatever. Section Hive. Bloodstar code updated 07033045. Care, camaraderie, coexistence. The Bloodstar Oath is amended to include squadmate responsibility for widowed and orphaned members. Okay, that's interesting. So they did have some form of social code. Pull me up another. 1712-3048. A crew of 15 found malnourished after being forced from Union. Two weeks rest and recuperation offered. A number already expressing interest in joining our ranks. Well, they can't have been all that bad if they were rescuing starving crews. I wonder where it all went wrong for these guys. Let's try another. 3011-3055. Man-at-Arms Bolton again challenges the chief for leadership. The council intervenes to remind Bolton of the electoral process which has existed since the gang's founding. Bolton is reprimanded, but remains defiant. Hmm, it sounds like a slide into a dictatorship. I reckon we did Bloodstar a favor by ridding them of Gas Mask, even though it meant their undoing. Hive, I need to reconsider this. I mean, what's GMB gonna do with all this but mine it for resource data and erase the rest? We have a choice here. Return the data to the old-timer and let him finish his life's work, or cash it in for a healthy profit. You have returned. Yeah, I've had a change of heart. I think you should keep the data bank. Let's just say I might have learned a new appreciation for history. Tell me something. I've been wondering. Are you him? What do you mean? Come on, there aren't many fighters out here who could have picked a fight with Bloodstar. So are you the guy? Is this for the record? On the final page. Yeah, I'm the guy along with Dexter Bashar who killed Bolton. Gas mask. We were taken hostage and tortured. Dexter Bashar. Be sure you get that name right. Nasty business. I was never keen on the hostage taking. Bolton was the reason it all went to hell. Maybe one day you'll be able to rebuild Bloodstar how it used to be. No, no, it's just a story now. You've shown heart by helping to preserve it. Thank you.
look who it is. You're dealing with me from now on. Hi, Daryl. So, now I get to know where Maddox is for real, right? Yeah, he leases the biggest hangar in Avonrest, a settlement here in Union. But so far as what kind of reception you're gonna get when you arrive there, we hold no responsibility. Maddox has good reason to be a deeply paranoid individual. Who else has been looking for him? Hard to say. It's just murmurs on the wavelengths. Okay, see you around. Oh, hey, before you leave, in case you're interested in doing us more favors and earning some credits, talk to Marianne over here. Sure, as long as she doesn't have anything else up her sleeves. I do not understand. Oh, wait. You are referring to your first visit. An unfortunate incident. I extend my apologies. It's quite all right, Marianne. It was out of your control. So what can you offer me? Please let me inform you about the station's job board. I have the clearance to inform you that there are jobs of special interest if you succeed in doing some of these. I'll have a look. out the leasing on some anger space. Do you have an appointment? Not really. I was just hoping to knock around. Well, the Coalition operates a clean enterprise, so we don't want any trouble, okay? Huh. The Coalition running the place and no trouble? That's a change for them. Why don't you ask Alec what happened between him and these guys? I just want to talk. Where is Dax? Where's his body? I buried him on Rhodia Station. The base? So you know. Don't shoot. I have something to show you. I'm going to reach into my belt. Slowly. His biochip. How can I be sure it wasn't you who killed him for that? I shared a cell with him and we escaped together. I helped him get the base set up again while he made plans to reach you. Give me that thing. Ah! <laughs> you got me. I guess I ain't as spry as I used to be. Yeah, right. How about I ask the questions now? This chip, what does it lead to? You mean he didn't tell you? Dax offered me a cut. Said it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And this rig you're building here just confirms to me that it's a big Viridian mining operation. Hold on there, fella. Don't you know what the Okar would do if they heard there was even talk about Viridium mining? Strictly prohibited by the treaty. Look, are we gonna cooperate or not? What are you doing? Well, you seem like a decent enough kind of guy. Come on upstairs and let's have a proper talk. You've come at the worst possible time or the best possible time. I ain't sure yet. But I do know I'm short on friends at the moment. With the Okar on the threshold about to kick the door down, and from what I hear, the G&B scouts chasing down rumors of my whereabouts, things are looking tight. Have a drink. The craft that took out Dax had a G&B signature. Mm, that's no surprise, but to be honest, I got everyone breathing down my neck at the moment, and the local situation here is getting bad. The Okar are becoming pretty testy. Yeah, I know, and I can't launch. If they get one sniff of this rig, my ass is grass. So, you came all this way. What's your big plan? Uh, no, this is as far as the plan got. Ah, damn it. I was hoping you had an idea. Tell me, this Viridium find, think it's worth it? Oh, hell yeah. I've been waiting years for this. One quick excavation and we'd be set for life. And all you need to do is get this freighter off the settlement without the Okar seeing you. I'll have to figure out some way to slip you out unnoticed. Boy, you are gonna be one of the richest men in the galaxy. So you've spent years putting this freighter together. 
Yep, while Dax was back at the base twiddling his thumbs. But it was all part of the plan to keep the team separated until the time was right. Who else is in your team? You don't need to worry about that right now. Unless you get me off this station, the plot ends here. I hate to say it, but that won't be easy. You're flying a Viridian mining rig. The Okar can smell a setup like this from light sex away. You seem to know a lot about these things. Any ideas on how to fix it? Well, the only way to fool the Okar would be to encrypt all sensory information coming from your ship. Optics, chemistry. It even needs to taste like cheap steel when you lick it. You'd need something like a material encryptor. That's right. You know that sort of tech doesn't really exist? At least not out here? And that's wrong. There's at least one person who designed such things, but uh, both Kato and I have always been careful not to do business with him. I think I know where this is going. Hey, you're good at pestering people. You even got me to come around. This guy has a station near the ice planet Volta. Follow these coordinates and you'll find it. You know, I'm putting my faith in you over this, Maddox. Like I said, it'll be worth it. Likely that you will become involved in a raid should you choose to dock here. Hey, how did you find us? I have almost two dozen markers on my map. This was one of them. Scrap. This is bad. Uma, the distractors are offline. We're sitting ducks here. I'll fix them. But I might need someone to have my back in case those bastards show up. I'm used to this kind of stuff. I can cover you. All right, set yourself up, then tag along. We don't have much time. They're here. I'll repair the distractors while you hold them off. Got it.
down for a while. They won't wait for another chance. Wave incoming. They're trying to get at our provisions. our derriers out there. Pay him well, Tico. He deserved it. Here, does this account for your trouble? It's more than enough. If there is anything else we can do, we gave your ship clearance to bypass the distractors. Feel free to come back anytime. <laughs> 